one of the Constitution, there shall be a district chief executive for every district who shall be appointed by the president with the prior approval of not less than two-thirds majority of members of the assembly present and voting at the meeting. District assembly includes a, metro a metropolitan and municipal assembly. As you are aware, the president has already nominated chief executives for the four metropolitan assemblies in Accra, Kumasi, Tamale, and Sekundi Takradi, who have been overwhelmingly endorsed by the respective assemblies and ushered into office. The president, in exercising his responsibilities under Article 2431, has carried out extensive consultations at the district, regional, and national levels, and has decided on the chief executives to be appointed with prior approval of the members of the relevant assemblies. These are capable men and women with expertise, experience, and temperament to head the assemblies and inspire a new era of rapid development in our country. The president list of 212 chief executives is being released now for the assemblies to approve in the coming days and weeks to complete the process. It is natural that those who, have, who were shortlisted and vetted by the president's committee had high expectations that they would be appointed to serve in the nation as chief executives of the assemblies and be the chief representatives of the central government in their districts. But it is obvious that only one person can serve in that capacity in every assembly. The president is grateful to all persons who showed keen interest in this exercise and indicated their availability for this important office. It is the wish of the president that those who were not named and will appreciate those who were not named will appreciate that there are other positions they may be called upon to serve in the interest of the nation. This is the time for solidarity and focus on overcoming the great challenges that confront our nation so we can build together the prosperous and thriving Ghana we all desire. It is the expectation of the president that this will be the last time metropolitan municipal and district chief executives will be appointed in this manner. The time has come for the expansion of local democracy to provide for their direct election by the people of their districts. This was the pledge of the MPP manifesto. Government is to begin the process of amending the constitution and putting in place the necessary measures to ensure the direct election of metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives. The president, from henceforth, will have no hand in their appointment. The power will be reserved to the people. Thank you, and may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. Thank you. 112 nominees, and they will be distributed to you accordingly. Thank you.